Amazingly, Simba's not been hit. How did that even happen? 100% cheat mode. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're looking at Operation Tidal Wave. First, some history. Operation Tidal Wave was an air attack by bombers of the US Army Air Forces based in Libya on nine oil refineries around Ploiesht, Romania on the 1st of August 1943. It was a strategic bombing mission and part of the oil campaign to deny petroleum-based fuel to the Axis powers. With 53 aircraft and 660 air crewmen lost, it was proportionally the most costly major Allied air raid of the war, and its date was later referred to as Black Sunday. Five Medals of Honor and 56 Distinguished Service Crosses, along with other awards, went to Operation Tidal Wave crew members. A 1999 research report concluded that the bombing campaign in Ploiesht was one of the bloodiest and most heroic missions of all time. Romania had been a major power in the oil industry since the 1800s. It was one of the largest producers in Europe and Ploiesht was a major part of that production. The Ploiesht oil refineries provided about 30% of all Axis oil production during the war. In June 1942, so a year earlier, 13 B-24 Liberators attacked Ploiesh. Though the damage was small, Germany and Romania responded by putting strong anti-aircraft defences around Ploiesh. Luftwaffe General Alfred Gustenborg built one of the heaviest and best integrated air defence networks in Europe. Hundreds of anti-aircraft guns were placed in and around the refineries and three Luftwaffe fighter units placed within range of Ploiesht. Artillery at Ploiesht consisted of 52 heavy, 9 medium and 17 light anti-aircraft batteries. So that's a lot more guns. Guys, our target for today is the nine refineries. They are within today a three mile box that you can see here. Each refinery consists of the following, a refinery building, and that is the actual target for today. To destroy a refinery, you destroy the refinery building. There are also auxiliary buildings. You can see here eight oil drums, but they are targets of opportunity only. There will be obviously defenses. As well as that, we've modeled the actual number of weapons. So Axis defense at Ploiesh or Ploiesh D, 208 88 mil guns, 36 37 mil guns, and 68 20 mil guns, all modeled today. Only the 88 mil guns will be able to hit you at the altitudes that we'll be flying at today. We have also modeled a squadron of BF 109s less than 50 miles away as per real life, which will be very relevant for today. Guys, before we look at today's war game, the first thing I actually want to do is run a mock World War II raid over these defences just to see and give a feel what it could have been like in 1943. We don't have the B-24 Liberators as used in the real Operation Tidal Wave, so instead we're using B-17s. That's a big old gun. Uh-huh. There they are. Oof. There would be so many metal splinters there, guys. None of the crew would survive that, surely. Sixteen hundred shells fired. 
server getting laggy. 1700 shells fired. 1800 shells fired. 1900 shells fired. 2000 shells fired. And it just gets thicker and thicker and thicker the further they get in. Although not a lot of aircraft have been shot down viewers, there will be so much metal shrapnel in the air from this shot that I'm pretty sure nothing would survive it. More are going down. 3,200 shots fired. Three and a half thousand shots fired. Long now before the computer dies. 4,000 shots fired. Oh, collision. Wow, 5,200, 5,300 shots fired. Computer's really struggling. Nearly 6,000 shots fired. And it just gets worse and worse the closer they get. Six thousand shells fired. Four minutes in. More and more leaving the formation. Six and a half thousand shots fired. Alright, I'm going to pause it there guys. Which brings us on to today's war game. Um, we're going to use some modern aircraft in place of the old B-24s to see how we fare. Now at this point you're going to say, right, well, if you want to do it with a modern fighter, use an F-35, go above 40,000 feet above the effective defence that they have and drop precision weapons on them. Yep, that will work. Or go at night, use an F-15 with terrain following radar and night vision goggles. And yes, that would work as well. And in both cases, the Reds wouldn't be able to fire back and it would be very effective, but also very boring for us. I don't particularly like scripting our missions for wins, so I'm going to try and make it as hard as we can and hopefully have some fun with that. So guys, today we will be using more modern aircraft, 1980s bombers and strike aircraft we'll be using, but we will use the same tactics as a typical World War II raid. We'll fly it 20 to 30 thousand feet so we have to fly through the flak and try and beat it that way we'll have fighters attacking us so we'll be doing it in the daytime so that world war ii fighters can come and attack us as well as that we'll use weapons like they had to use in world war ii unguided bombs i figured a selection of three 1980s attack and multi-role aircraft first we'll try it in the a-10 ground attack aircraft we'll take four two thousand pound unguided bombs plus it has a whopping great cannon. We'll fly the 100 miles at 25 odd thousand feet and see how we fare. Because there's only a few of us we need to ensure some type of accuracy so dive bombing absolutely will be allowed guys. Then a 1980s multi-role aircraft an F-14B for 2,000 pound bomb guys. If still no luck we'll go to the late 1980s F-15E. Again, equipped with bombs of the same type, but some more of them. That should allow us a bit more fun, guys. Predictions. Who thinks the A-10s are going to make it through the World War II fighters and flak? Small chance. Might make it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think the one Smaller than small. Out. Simba said he thinks the 109s are going to take him down. And, well, I don't know, by the way. I've not tried this, obviously. The boys have just turned up and we'll see. Um, I probably agree with Simba. And we'll talk about why. Fast Jets. 
I'm pretty confident about the fast jets, guys, because the guns were not calibrated for 500 knot jets, and obviously the World War II fighters would struggle as well. But again, I haven't tried it, and I may be wrong. So mid altitude still. Mid altitude, you can dive bomb obviously for accuracy, but yeah, still going to be a problem if you're it's throwing up so many shells that mm -hmm. we're going to rerun it into stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's running into a flak wall. I wonder how well the armor plating on the A10 will do. Right, well, mixed uh, reviews. We'll do some more chatting along the way. First, the A10s. Welcome in, viewers. First, A10s. We've got a mixture of A's and C's because not everyone has the C. Fire, Simba, Poosh, Cap, Dark, Cannibal. Say hello, boys. Hello, hello boys. Hello, boys. Cannibal rolling. Poosh rolling. Fire rolling. Simba rolling. Cap rolling. Afterburn is engaged. Go, little weed eater. Don't forget your flaps back to neutral. If you're wondering why we're so lightly armed viewers, it's because of survivability. This aircraft is faster than a lot of World War II aircraft, including fighters, but only if it's lightly loaded. If you load it heavily, it becomes incredibly slow and we will not survive for the ingress. So we're trying to mix uh, doing the mission with staying alive. Welcome in viewers to literally some time later. We've still got a bucket load of fuel and our bombs and we've just spotted hostiles in front of us. So let's show you what's going on. I guess we're about uh, 40 miles away from the guns and coming at us now are the guys that are already airborne and in position, the 109s. And I guess this is a good point to address something, viewers. Uh, we've done several missions where we do A-10s versus World War II fighters and the World War II fighters tend to win. And you guys get very upset because you go in Wikipedia and you can see that the A-10 can go faster than the fighters. Well, the problem is in the, re the reality of missions, there are two major factors. One, an A-10 has to carry its bombs externally. As soon as we start loading up with bombs and weapons externally, it slows the aircraft down massively, where it, obviously that's not going to affect a World War II fighter. Secondly, it's off the nose. Bandits off the nose, Roger. Secondly, I'll be quick as I can. The A10 has high bypass ratio turbo fans. These are fairly good at ground level, but as soon as you go up in altitude, they become inefficient. Therefore, our speed becomes much lower, higher up. Right, okay. So, being higher up as we're forcing today, I'm aware we're merged. Ooh, merge. Keep going, keep going. Don't panic. Guys, I'm putting Buster on. I'm now Buster. I could see that. Have faith in Uncle Sam's technology, guys. So what I'm trying to say is, viewers, Wikipedia information isn't always relevant. So we're going a ground speed of 325 knots. And I suppose the third thing, an important thing, viewers, is never underestimate World War II fighters. They are incredibly, even these days, incredibly kinematically powerful. Right, I can see the target in front of us. It's still tens of miles out, but... War being it's off to the left. Right, we're just going to hope they don't strafe us on the first run, because that's probably the only chance they'll get near us. A-10 cannot go above these fighters' viewers. These fighters will go up to 40,000 feet, and A-10 cannot. They can only go up to a 30 maximum. So we cannot go above them. God, they were, they were close, guys. They were uh, real close. They're doing a good job of merging. All right, we've got that. We've got the high ground. We've got the energy. I think we're good. Uh, they're merged under my tail pretty yeah, close. Yeah, but look at their speed. It's low, low, low. Let me go and check the speeds on the map. Oh, my God. How did they get so close? Did a really good job merging. Dark, if you want the rear, get ready for guns to drink. The rest of you carry on. Try not to lose any airspeed, Dark. How did they merge so well? You're out running on them. You're out running them. Well, that got exciting very quick, viewers. Another fighter group off our nose. God. Right, I'm watching the one on dark, and he's falling back. Right, don't lose airspeed. Whatever you do, conserve that energy. We're managing break 340. They're managing 330. They're 10 knots shy. Oh, my God, a whole bunch of them coming in. 
Now you can see why I don't want to use F-35 at 50,000 feet viewers. This is much more fun. Right, another tight merge. Come on. Push on, boys. Must push on. Poor old Dark. I'm worried about him. He's so far behind. Somebody's got to be the bait. You are going to be the bait, Dark. I'm oh my god, they are angry. Dark's down to 340. They are at... This guy's at 340. He's one knot slower than Dark. But Dark, you're just outrunning them by one knot, which is about 1.15 miles an hour, viewers. I'm the fish with the injured tail. You are. If you have to dive out of formation, if we command you to dive out of formation, hopefully you'll drag a load. We are 14 miles from target. The one just behind Dark is 355. He's now... Oh, no, he's speeding up. He's hit his NW50. And you 100% faster than us, right dark. You've still got a few seconds, you've still got a few seconds. Oh, I'm too far in my field up. Hold me! Right, get ready. Oh my god, they're coming for us, no, they're coming for us. Crap! Okay, they've got 15 knots on us. much fuel being dark. Oh yeah. Alright guys, they've amazingly not gone for uh, dark, they're going for us, but... We've still got a few seconds before we have to dive. Now, when we dive, we'll get faster because of our engines to start becoming more efficient. Hold the line. Still no AAA. They might not even fire at us, I don't know. We're, we're, yep, they're 100% firing at us. We're trying to. We're fast, a lot faster than the bombers they're designed to shoot down. <laughs> Distance to target is... Seven miles, right, that's it, guys. Autopilot's off. Start diving for targets. Well done, watch out for overspeed. They're right behind us. Flat cannons. Oh. I'm going right. I'm looking for the right refineries. Uh, I'm going to go for the one in the light brown square to the back. My Office. plane is shaking. I don't know what that means, but I don't like it. Mustn't drop, I've put no wind on the helpers, but mustn't drop too low because then the 20 mil opens up. Cap preparing to drop and one bomb out. Tell me that drop, please Push tell pickle. me that drop. 20 mils out. Balanced! I've lost my systems. God damn it. Good luck, guys. One, two down. Well done, keep it going. Mine one's down as well. Three down. Splash. Yep, splash one. There are five down, four to go. Keep fighting, guys, keep fighting. I'm gonna be I'm a gonna decoy. Take, I'm gonna Do we hear? take the oil refinery Pickle. for this. You don't need any special running on Never the mind. second one. I'll take. Two left. The one next to it. Okay. Move on the one to the right then. Guns are effective on the oil tanks. Roger, roger.
soon as they're destroyed, that's mission done. Then you're then you've got to try and survive and get out, guys. Direct hit, stand by. Come on, please hit, please hit, please hit. Well done, Simba. Everyone, egress, 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 if you can. I'm aware you're all in all kinds of trouble. But she's a tough old gal. I got a bandit on my tail. Same here. Oh, the the all you can do is dive and outrun, it's all you've got. Or kill them, but I doubt you'll kill them. They're very no. maneuverable no. fighters. <laughs> Cannibal amazingly sort of got out. Fire Dad, you're doing well. Oh my god, Dark. Dark! They want you for breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Ambitious, Dark. Ambitious. You've always been ambitious, Dark. Oh, my gun doesn't work anymore. Yeah, I had that problem. Well, it's a landing. I mean, the Germans probably won't give you a warm welcome, but you landed, Dark. That's good news. Right, Simbo's. Oh, sir. Simbo's trying to shoot them down. I did not give him tracers, so he's going to have to fire by eye. I hope so, but the bullet of that big Simba. Right. I'm outrunning my guy, so. Yeah. Okay, fire, you can despawn because you've outrun your guy. Simba's still in the thick of it. Cannonball, you've still got a baddie after you. Woo! Up close to flat. That's scary. Yes, and Simba has 100% got guys after him. Let's see how he does. Amazingly, Simba's not been here. How did that even happen? 100% cheat mode. Huh. <laughs> mean. Hey, he was in my way. He was in your way, Simba. That's right. Well, this turned out a lot better than I thought it would be, guys. All right. You've done it, Simba. You can despawn. And Cannibal has somehow beaten his fighter. He's just given up. Oh, I didn't think we were going to do that, guys. I thought we were dead meat. For obvious reasons. There's 208 guns shooting us. And 24 fighters. But we did it somehow, and three guys survived. So I guess the next question is, can we do it in faster jets and have less losses, right? Let's try in the F-14. F-14, only four of us have it. Fire, Simba, Cap, and Dark. <clears throat> Fire rolling. Dark rolling. Rear rolling.
Welcoming viewers, uh, we are about 50 miles away. I might even be able to see it. Yes, I can sort of see it in the distance there. Oh, wow, we're already merging. Huh, a thing happened, guys. 12 o'clock. There they come. No chance. Now, this is a proper fast jet, viewers. Obviously, we're at 450 knots. We are under no threat at all from these aircraft. Because Tomcat, viewers. In fact, probably the biggest danger we've got is overshooting the target and missing it. Where is it? Visual. He's trailing us. He's on our six. He's gonna fire. My Rio's getting all upset about the fighter. It's 200 knots slower than us. He wants to dogfight. He does want to dogfight, doesn't he? Right, I'm missing one of you. Where are you? I'm um, okay. I'm down below you a little bit. I'm catching up. More bandits off the nose. Bandit, ME109. Must resist urge to select Sidewinder. I don't have. Right, guys, I'll go right again because it worked so well for me last time. I'm not. Wouldn't be surprised if they don't even bother firing at us. He's going to our six, man. We're now going twice as fast Bandit, as those fighters of yours. Anyone got the uh, factory on the right? Oh, I didn't okay. even see that. You uh, go for that then. He's on our six. I got it. He is on six. Well, this is going much quicker than last time. Well, I guess we dive in now, guys. Is that right there? So, uh, do your own thing, guys. He almost has it. It's really tempting to go too fast, but don't go too fast, guys, because it will damage your bombing. Right. Well, triple A, triple A hasn't he's even fired. He's gonna fire. Viewers. He's getting in shooting position. He's not going to fire. He's going half our speed, you big knob. Anyone seen triple A? Negative. Yep. They're in the fields, but nothing's fired. Oh, that's what I meant, yeah, yeah. All right, 500 knots is good. No, no triple at all. No triple at all. All right, let's see how accurate F-14 is, shall we? 20s are opening up. Oh. Yeah, 20s will shoot us. One more way. Destroyed. One more way. Burner on. Get the friggin' chuff out of here. First target hit, Cap. I'm away. Yeah. Second should be dead soon. Second's hit. All right, two down. That's more like it. F-14. Right, can we do it with no losses is the question. Guys, keep speed, keep speed, keep speed. 500 to 600. You got plenty of fuel still, probably. If I knew where the fuel gauge was. There it is. 10,000. Yeah, it looks like we all started with a hit. All right, I'm going to take nope. the dark square that's in the middle, the one closest to us in the overrun. Okay. Light brown square closest to the city. I'll go in the middle. Do it, boys. 500 knot ingress, please. Pickle. Pickle. Stores. Shack. Stores. Second bomb did not drop. Gotta hit that box. Oh wait, it did. I didn't see it. Yeah, it's okay. There's 490. All right, there's another two down, guys. 12 o'clock high. No one said don't get slow. I got slow. Two o'clock high. Okay, one and uh, fire. Go ahead, fire. Uh, light brown square. Six o'clock high. Uh, Just outside the city. High. Just outside the city. Yep. Copy. What do we got? Just the one left ah. in the dark green square. Yeah, I'm running on that now. Okay, I didn't get a good lineup on it. I'm egressing out. Caps Winchester, right. I just realized. Alright, uh, all right. I'll drop on the light square that fire missed. Alright, I got one out. That's a follow up on fires. We got anything left? That's it. Nope. That's it. That's it, everyone. Okay, Buster. Good. Get out of range. See you later. Well, viewers, that was worryingly easy. Obviously, the 109's got nowhere near us. Not a single 88 mil gun fired because they couldn't track our speed. We were always too fast. Wow. And we bombed because we've got modern system and it was easy. Um, we'll just wait till everyone's out to make sure everyone gets out, but I'm sure we will. Well, that was a bit weirdly easy, so I've no idea why we're going to do the F-15, but I've set it up, so we might as well do the F-15. All right, F-15s, we have everyone set cannonball. Front guy, punch it. Simba rolling.
Oh, I left my parking brake on. <laughs> Oops. So did he. Fire rolling. My view is uh, about the same area, I'd imagine. Let's start setting a jet up. I need that. I need that. I need that. 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 All right, boys, start falling in on me. So it'd be amazing if we even get shot at again. But right, whole load of blips on the radar. I'm gonna leave them be, guys. Okay, I'm gonna speed up a little bit. Tomcat was faster at this point. Bandits off the nose. Yeah. Bye bye. Merge. Have fun with that. Goodbye. You can come out of cans, Cap. Uh, done. All right, it's 400 beautiful knots, pretty much. Anyone seen a Messerschmitt yet? Oh look, they're just tiny little dots whizzing by at light speed. We're more of a danger to ourselves than uh, mm -hmm. they are. Oh, That's usually the way to be fair. Again, no guns firing at us, they just don't have the sights to be able to lead enough to hit us. Imagine how much lead you would have to put in to hit a fighter at 20,000 feet, moving at 600 knots ground speed. You'd have to put miles of lead in. Bye bye, cat. All right, that's it, guys. Autopilot's off. Break out formation. Go and do a thing. That is all. Watch out for overspeed. Watch out for your wings. Yeah, this thing likes to leave its wings behind. All right, viewers. Not really much that can go wrong here. I guess the power lead could fall out of the back of my computer but that's pretty much all that can go wrong again the triple a if i can try and find any it's not even bothering it's not even erecting it itself giggity i think an 88 mil fired one yes someone fired at me look at that i'm so happy viewers bless their cotton socks i need some practice exploded three miles behind me but what the hey right concentrate cap shack one stores cap Stores. See you later, from the friggin' nerds. They're firing at the F-15s, look. It's two and one pass. Yeah. Standard operating procedure push. Light brown closest to city. Yeah, there's a lot of brown that needs doing, guys. Oh, didn't come off. You did, oh, I think. You got it. Oh, I did get it. Okay. Going for the one. Flash. You got that one. I'm going for the one in the middle of that light uh, brown field north. Stores. Stores. <laughs> Sorry, citizens. Your city just got bombed on an accident. Something's a smoking hole. I think that's all of them. Oh my god, f 15s good. Right, obviously it was no challenge at all. Alright guys, you can have, it was stupidly easy. Uh, you never know it until you try it, unfortunately, viewers. You have permission to dogfight, uh, whatever they're called, 109s. Dump your stores. Dump your stores. <laughs> Alright, little 109. If anyone can find a friggin' 109, that is. Where are they? Looks like they're running away. There's a whole cluster of them chasing Simba. Ooh, where's Simba? Where's Simba? He's right Back in the over middle. the battlefield. You're pointing, you're passing Simba now, Cap. He's off of your 3 o'clock. Yes, I see. The baddies are off your 9 o'clock. Getting old, viewers. I'm getting old. Oh, 
Oh, yes! No, that's a shadow. It's my own friggin' shadow. Alright, come on, where are they? <laughs> Found one. Chasing your own shadow. Found it's one. so silly of you, Cap. Mm. Who's a silly bitch? Got one. You watch him kill me now. Ah, he's locking Zimba up. Stop it. I mean, if you're feeling froggy. I'm not feeling froggy. I'm trying to get this damn plane to work. Got him. Right, let's go. This is really hard. This plane is so heavy, guys. Anyone else friggin' notice that? Yep, the fire has to leave. Roger, I'll see you later. That brings me back to the point of the beginning of the video, viewers. How kinematically good World War II fighters are. Amazing things they can do. I do you know where the rudder trim is in this thing? Um, it has rudder trim? I hope so. I'm missing a wing here. Ah, right. Um, Right, guys, I've considered myself well out dog fought by the Germans. I am going to space. Well, at least the 88 started firing, right? I don't suppose anyone managed to kill a Messerschmitt, did they? Basically impossible. Not yet. Their wing loading is so low. Alright, who just passed over the road and is now climbing over a forest? Yep. Alright, cool. You've oh, got yeah. three in trail, which will line them up for me. Yep. Drag them along. I'm and I'll <laughs> <laughs> in a rolling scissor, so I'm gonna accelerate out of the fight. Okay, I'm gonna come back around on this. Way. I see you. We killed one. We killed one, guys. A genuine bona fide kill. Yep, got one off the nose. Okay, aim one straight up. Who <laughs> has his little? Followers. Hits in them. Okay, it looks like they're all in you now. I'm going back around. There's one lake in fuel, so it should be sitting duck. Hey! Oh, cool. <laughs> the old fashioned way. I did way. kill him first. Yes, you did. Oh, dog got one. Well done, guys. All right. The A10 did it, but we took losses because obviously it's not super fast and we got outrun for the reasons I said. The Tomcat walked it and the F15 walked it even better, but obviously we did silly bollocks at the end.